Jacob Zuma, Uti, you know when you're looking at the ANC, the current ANC, it is almost difficult to thrive within the ANC. Uh, there are no channels where we can solve problems and everything is just upside down. But Uti Zuma, no, that is the reason why I was underground talking to pastors, talking to traditional leaders, talking to these people, making sure, obviously, that he was neutralizing them, making sure that he gets spoken well about them so they can promote the political party. But again, Jacob Zuma had made a number of promises that I'm sitting here thinking to myself, wait a minute, Mr. President, you made such a promise. Are you really going to keep this promise? But this is Jacob Zuma. Number two, we can't say it, this is his political party. Because definitely, sure, there are investors into this thing. Look at how MK is trending. Let me tell you guys, sometimes these things don't just trend organically. There are people that fund political parties. So the question that we need to ask is, hmm, how big is MK? Who owns MK? They said, no, this is part of ANC. These are the people that comes from ANC. But there must be a funder. The person that must, might have dis, or might have seen a future and found at the ANC, but that's not where we are. We are going to talk about all these things in a few moments. I'm definitely sure you are interested to take this journey with me. But yeah, I've got this article in front of me. I've got two of these articles in front of me because, you know me, I love doing research. You know what I'm saying? So yes, so yeah. I'm about to go through all these articles, provided that you're interested. Are you interested to take this journey with me? If you are interested to take this journey with me, then please stick around. As you stick around, there are a few things that I'm requesting from you guys. And those things are, number one, subscribe. Number two, like the video. Number three, comment in the comment section below. Well, number four, watch the video until the end. Number five, watch the ads. Number six, share this video well there are other means where you can support in this youtube channel there's a button called subscribe next to the button there's a button called join just click that button do me a favor you'll join there you'll join become a member of this youtube channel from as little as 20 round a month also there's a button there called thanks you can donate to the channel from as little as you can 14 round a month do the honorable thing let's go let's get in here Corruption, corruption accused former President Jacob Zuma has committed to a zero, uh, zero tolerance to a look, zero tolerance approach to corruption within the newly established Umkhonto Oasis Party. Zuma made his make this declaration during a media briefing in Velarem, 24 kilometers north of Deben in Guazulu Natal, on, on Tuesday. He told them the look, told the briefing that the new political party aims to save the ANC from what the, uh, from what he perceived to be, look to be problem associated with President Ramaphosa's tension. Right, he says one of the central pillars of the party is its it is zero tolerance policy on corruption. This is a move that Zuma has highlighted as a, as a start, departure from his previous political association with the ANC, which he has been pledged by uh, corruption scandals in recent years. So, however, Zuma himself has been at the center of uh, these allegations, including involvement in the arms deal scandal and the alleged ties to the infamous, infamous Gupta family, who are accused of um, accepting an undue influence over the decision of a previous government. This I quote from an article released by Is Sunday World, uh, released by Unombilo Zulu on the 26th of December 2023. There are a few words that are said here, which I find it quite interesting that you hear Jacob Zuma, a person that is accused of crime, saying we're going to have zero tolerance when it comes to crime. That's exactly what has just happened here, right? But there is also what the former president Jacob Zuma has said, which I thought it's worth your attention, your ears, and your eyes. Having said that, 
I let me take this journey with you. Former President Jacob Zuma spoke, uh, and uh, Jacob Zuma says, according to principles engaging in dispute, but, but, but local, particularly political party campaigns and membership, should not be our focus, says Uzuma. This applies especially to those of us who have been dedicated members of the ANC and intend to remain so until the end. Well, Mr. President, the ANC is also planning to neutralize you. Well, you might have had me talking about that as well. But also, people are calling for, your, for you to be expelled, so you will no longer be a member of the ANC if they do make that decision as soon as they can. But nevertheless, let's continue again. Okay? Uh, our declaration of support of Mkonto Wesizwe is driven by our concern that the ANC has astrayed from its original local, local path due to misguidance. Oh, those are strong allegations. We must address the issue, plugging our nation ahead of a non, uh, of a, uh, look, uh, ahead and not turn a blind eye to the suffering of our people, especially when some individuals are softening off hands and abroad while many at home are struggling to make and meet. Such actions will undoubtedly disappoint leaders like Mabida. I have been working underground and noticed consulting with traditional leaders and pastors since January. There is no other time to fix the country, but now says the former president, Jacob Zuma. There's no other time to fix the country, but now, so we've got to fix the country. According to Jacob Zuma, what a better way of fixing the country than that of um, uh, voting for Umkonto Wesizwe. So they can unseat the government of Ramaphosa. And once they're done with that, then they get to deal with corruption. That's at least what we've heard. I'm going to do some, I'm, I'm, I'm busy doing a bit of a research. There's an interesting research that I've discovered, or I know, which speaks about crime, how crime has increased uh, um, ever since the, 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 this new government has taken over. There's been some like very interesting articles. One of the articles said that in the, now they said, out of 10 murders that are happening in this country, 10 people being murdered in this country, only one will be prosecuted successfully. That means nine people will, will go unprosecuted and will never be arrested. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Some of the people that get arrested is those who, who we shine a spotlight on them. Those are the people that get arrested. But other than that, generally, according to the stats, People don't get arrested. So that is what we need to look at when we when we speak about corruption in the new government, in the new regime, under the new government. Those are some of the things. We need to compare it with what was corruption like in the previous administration and all the stuff. That's exactly what I am going to do here. I'm working behind the scene like Jacob Zuma. I'm going unnoticed behind the scene, making sure that I do gather such information for you. So the only thing that I'm asking, you know, having put all this effort, having, you know, sleepless night, putting all this effort, making sure that the information is delivered, well researched. The, the, you know, I'm, I'm not asking a lot from you to compensate my, 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 my work. Number one, just subscribe. Number two, like the video. Number three, watch the ads. Number four, share this video. It's free of charge. Number five, guys, um, subscribe as well. It's very important to subscribe. Why? It also helps in terms of, uh, when, in terms of when I post another video, you will be the first to be notified. So why not post the next video? Like, sorry, guys. Why not? You get the not those notifications. So just do what I've just told you. It also makes me feel good when I see my channel getting to 10,000 subscribers in no time, getting 100,000 views, you know what I'm saying? It makes me feel good um, to see those numbers growing. It cultivates me. It motivates me, right? Having said all of those things, 
let me decide to stop this video here you know why because i'm going to do another research since i'm going to do another research i'll stop it here and i'll see you on the next video but until then please take care